Hello, welcome to MCL TV, and I'm your host, Murder Cam Live, and this is another episode of Let's Talk About It. Um, on this episode, we're talking about the transsexual swimmer that swam in the women's MCA, NCAA race and won, and how that's unfair. But before we uh, get into this episode, please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe to the channel and the video. Um, share it. This is going to be a very interesting episode. And um, I'm going to let uh, Jason Whitlock from Fearless, a real good show. He's going to break down the introduction. I'm going to let him speak for a minute. And then we're going to get into the Leah Thompson story. And as you can see, Leah Thompson is a, a, a straight male. No woman about this. You know what I'm saying? Physique is straight male, broad shoulders and everything. But they allowed this man to, to, to race in this swim meet and win the medal from the, all the other females that was trying. They've been, you know, basically their whole life they've been practicing and, 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 and racing to get to this point and they let this man come in here and steal their joy. But let's let Jason Whitlock um, tell you this and um, I'm going to let it play from here. And like I say, y'all check out Jason Whitlock on Fearless. This is his show. This is where I, I actually seen this and it, it really interests me. So let, let's see what he have, he has to say about it. A foment disorder. Leah Thomas is out of order because we've ingested a buffet of lies for far too long. That's the beginning of my fire. And, and I hope that you get the point. I, 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 early in the afternoon, I put out a column saying much of the same things virtually all of the same things, and I'm not sure if people fully grasp it because everybody, oh, way to go, stick the truth, Leah Thomas, Leah Thomas, Leah Thomas, Leah Thomas, and this is a travesty. And, and we don't fully grasp or understand how we're all participating in this travesty, virtually all of us. That laundry list of lies, and I could have gone on even further, but that laundry list of lies pretty much applies to virtually everybody to some degree. And basically, he, he's saying these laundry list of lies because the alphabet mafia and the government are together and pushing this agenda upon us. And nobody's saying anything. Everybody's just accepting it. It's all on our TV shows. It's everywhere. Um, and it's getting ridiculous. But let's keep going with the video. In order to go along, to get along at work, over social media, people are sitting around pretending like, well, you know, January 6th wasn't in any direction, but oh my God, it was, it was just a travesty. It was just, it was, it was horrible. And it's one of the worst things that's ever happened in America. You know, maybe insurrections are a little exaggerated, but, but oh, it was just horrible. I'm, I'm sorry. In comparison to what we saw during the summer of George Floyd, the truth is January 6th was nothing. And it would have really been nothing without the assistance of the FBI and all the other government plants that fomented and, and inspired January the 6th. A group of idiots went into the Capitol at the behest of some government agents. They didn't go there with zip ties to kidnap people or stop uh, the election process or Joe Biden being uh, uh, announced or uh, ratified as president. Idiots went in there at the behest of other idiots or conspirators. And they just wanted to show up and, and tell the uh, politicians, you're out of order, you're out of line. 
These people should not be rotting in jail cells. And people that don't have the balls to say that, they're liars. Liars who are contributing to the lie of Leah Thomas. It, it all, again, once you start accepting one lie, there's all these other lies that come along with it. When you build a culture and a society that ignores truth, is hostile to truth. Really hostile to uncomfortable truths. And that's basically saying we're playing on a slippery slope with actually letting a man swim with these women. That, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, what's next? If, if, if a, a transsexual male beat up on your, your daughter, does she, he not get charged? Is it just battery? Is it just a fight? Like, how far are we going to let this go? How, how, how much are we going to take as the American people? It's getting crazy. You're just legalizing all the other lies. And so now we got a six foot three, six foot four man swimming against women. Crazy. And this won't be the end of it. There will be men playing basketball against women in NCAA college basketball <laughs> rather soon. <laughs> Might be next year. It'll certainly be in the next four or five years. Imagine that. Imagine we that. Again, you embrace all these other little lies. You got to embrace them all. And you're just, oh, well, that's my little pet lie that, that, that I go along with, but I'm not down with all these other ones. You can't be down with one and not supporting the others. Because when you support one, it makes you have to silence yourself about the others. And so if you think, and I know Reverend Al Sharpton don't really care about God, I, I get it. But he's not retarded. He knows what's going on with Leah Thomas and, women, and men competing against women in these sports. He knows it's wrong. He knows it violates every biblical tenet he ever once knew and forgot. But he can't say anything because his platform is based on a lie. When your platform is based on a lie, you can't call out other lies. That's facts. You have to form an alliance with all the other liars. And you have to either shut your mouth or join in on their lives. And that's why so many uh, alleged Christians have, oh, well, abortion, that, that's, that's complicated. I'm just going to look the other way. I got no opinion. My political leanings tell me I've got to support it or whatever, so I'm going to part of the Barack Obama package. The Barack Obama package, you know, it, it, it's, it's like a cable bundle. If I buy the entire bundle, I get it at a discounted price and I just gotta ignore the channels I don't like. Now you've bought the entire bundle and you're co-signing for everything in that cable package, including abortion. Obama, a lot of people liked Obama. You know, I can't lie at the time I liked Obama, but more when I looked in deeper and deeper into what laws he passed, what Obama did, what, you know what I'm saying, what was behind his presidency, his agenda, he really left us all messed up. He didn't do anything for, for the black people, but he pushed the LBGT community and, you know, they sent them into Africa to, so we could continue to get materials to finesse them. But um, a president's effect, it affects the, us well after they're out of the seat. And Obama left 
a lot of things crazy, you know? I'm not going to say, well, as far as saying Obama was a bad president or anything like that, but he really didn't do what we thought he was going to do when he was in presidency, you know? But um, let's, let's get back to this. And um, continue to let Jason Whitlock explain this. Let me see how long we got before this. That's pretty decent. And that that that's I'm telling you, many of you that are sitting there being <coughs> pulsed by Leah Thomas, you've bought part of this cable bundle. This channel's a part of this cable bundle of lies that you actually support and therefore when 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 these type travesties happen you can't in a full-throated authentic way speak against it because you're afraid your lies may get called out maybe you've been running around pretending George Floyd is the greatest victim in the history of America and, and, and this, this generation's Martin Luther King or hell, even Jesus Christ. And you've been using George Floyd to promote yourself at work. Oh, I better get that promotion or you're racist, just like Derek Chauvin and all the other cops that kill black people. How many black people who call themselves Christian, have stood on the neck and back of George Floyd and blackmailed their bosses. You're a liar. You're in support of Leah Thomas and all this other chaos and abominations against God and every rule, every thought, every biblical principle that's ever been taught to you. You're in objection to it. There's facts. If we sit back and we don't say nothing about what we see going on, nobody resists or, 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 or protests against things like that is happening, it's going to get out of control. It's going to spiral out of control. And don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against transsexuals. I'm not homophobe. It's just that at this point, it's everywhere. They're pushing it. They're pushing their agenda upon us and whether you like it or not. And we should be able to say we don't want to see it in our TV shows. We don't want to see it on TVs. Our kids watch TVs. A lot of these ladies' sons are coming up to them and saying that they're thinking that they're gay. Where are they getting that from? There was none of that when we grew up. Because it's in the music with Little Nas X. It's on TV, on Every show, every single show you watch, is a gay episode on there. Somebody's gay or something like that. So we're just sitting back watching this pushed upon our children in school, on TV, and saying nothing. So we just this bad. Oh, Donald Trump, he's Adolf Hitler. He's a dictator. Now, because someone on CNN or MSNBC told you, Vladimir Putin, he's Adolf Hitler. You believe that now, too. And trust me on this. I don't know what Vladimir Putin is. I'm no expert on Russia. But I'm not going along. The same people that lie to me every single day Oh, this time they're telling the truth? And because they're all, oh, Republicans and Democrats, and all the TV networks, they're all saying Vladimir Putin is Adolf Hitler. Facts. These are the same people that have been lying to us the entire Facts. time. I'm not buying that garbage. They're going to have to bring me more than their word to get me to buy into that. Same people, oh, put a mask on and COVID will stop. Two weeks, we'll break the curve. Take this shot in the ass or in the arm. It'll stop COVID. But now I'm so, oh, 
Putin. He's Adolf Hitler. The last week we were telling you it was Donald Trump. This week is Putin. Who's it gonna be next week? Jason Whitlock. He's Adolf Hitler. He's a Hitler supporter. He's a Russian propagandist. Russia's supporting him. You'll believe anything. I'm not, I I'm just sorry. Either you're gonna stand on truth and save this country and man up, woman up, and stand on truth, or you're no different than the rest of them. You just have your little pet lies, and oh my God, America's systemically racist. And a black man, we ain't got no chance. Because white people done gathered up and, and they done made all the rules so we can't make it. Yeah, Barack Obama was an aberration. Mike Wilbur was an aberration. Jason Whitlock, I have a receiver, they spent the whole, everybody that made it black. It was an aberration, it was luck. I can't do it, the whole world is against me. Yeah, I know I say I'm a Christian and if God is on my side, who can be against me? How can I fail? But really, I'm not a Christian. The white man is my God. And if he doesn't like me, I'm nothing. That's what you really believe. Man up and say it. You bought the lie. I, um, and so I, I hope no one hears this as I feel sorry. I do have compassion for Leah Thomas. This man has some serious mental issues. Facts. I don't feel sorry to for have the audacity to stand on that podium and celebrate and talk about this stuff he accomplished like he did something. This man has some serious issues. His parents need to be investigated. His neighborhood he grew up in needs to be investigated. <laughs> to have the above. And I, it's not about him feeling like a woman. It's about having the audacity to take his six foot three, six foot four ass and go compete against a bunch of women and take pride in it. That, now that's what, what gets me. He act like he really had a struggle and winning this race and you know, you was competing against women. You was competing against women. Let me see if I could get it to to where they it's almost there. Let's get the interview with him. And the audacity to take his six foot three, six foot four ass and go compete against a bunch of women and take pride in it. Play, play his little post. Yeah, here we go. Match post swim interview uh, that he did with ESPN. Leah, how did that performance measure up to your expectations coming into this meet tonight? Look. I, I didn't have a whole lot of expectations for this meet. Do that look like a woman to y'all? He don't even look. <laughs> Man, this is the world we living in, man. This is the world we living in. I was just happy to be here trying to race and compete as best as I could. You've undoubtedly been under the spotlight over the past few months. How have you been dealing with that and reasoning with everything? I try to ignore it as much as I can. I try to focus on my swimming. Couldn't be my daughter in that race. Couldn't be my daughter in that race and see her heartbroken over because this they let this man in the pool to beat them swimming six four uh what i need to do to get ready for my races and just try to block out everything else what did that race mean to you it's it means the world to to be here be with two of my best friends and teammates he definitely sick in the mind to think that he really was competing and this was a fair race this is how crazy things are getting, man. And be able to compete. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at <his> face. <laughs> I'm not even talking about him. Mm -hmm. That, and I don't want to call this woman a coward that did the interview, but it was a call cowardly interview. It was. Call her one. She should have asked him, 
You got a penis between your legs. Everybody else in the pool had a vagina. Do you think that's fair? Are you sure with what's swinging between your legs, you need to be out there swimming against women? That would have been a bold interview. Put Leah Thomas on the spot, make him man up and answer a real question. Fact. Don't go off into his la-la world that he somehow has accomplished something worthy of celebration and admiration. There was a woman outside the swim meet. I think she swims for Virginia Tech. She actually womaned up. And, and should have, there should have been thousands of people, or everybody in the damn swim meet should have been out there with this Virginia Tech woman who went on camera and complained right. about this travesty and obscenity that we're sanctioning and codifying into this, into this society. That is Play right. the clip of the Va Tech swimmer keeping it 100. You're a Virginia Tech swimmer. What did you think about Leah Thomas competing today as a swimmer in this competition? Um, what are you feeling? What are other athletes feeling? It's a common conception that we are all very disappointed and frustrated with someone who is, has capabilities more than us women have to be able to compete at this level and take opportunities away from other women. Like I have a teammate who did not make finals. Even she says the capability, he's a man. He, no matter how much he think about himself as being a woman, he's a man. He got the long shoulders, long legs, he got the strength. I don't care how low his testosterone levels are, he is a man. And they need to stop with this foolishness. And as you can see, as this girl on this on this camera, she she she's she's clearly upset, but she ain't say what she needed to say. Today because she was just bumped out of finals and it's heartbreaking to see someone who went through puberty as a male and has the body of a male be able to absolutely blow away the competition and you go into it with a mindset that you are you don't have a chance if that makes sense like it's hard to compete against someone with the aerobic capacity the muscle development the body of a man it, it's hard it's hard to think about it like that and staying positive i bet for other swimmers who are in that uh he is probably overwhelming i i'm not sure i can't speak for them but it, it's disappointing to see and frustrating definitely and you said that one of your teammates was crying today because she didn't make the finals uh you said that she was 17th yes. and there were 16 spots yes so uh, leah thomas took one of those spots uh, talk to us about what your teammate uh, was going through grown ass man took the girl's spot now that's 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 crazy these girls practice and and, and swim since high school to even get a chance to be in something like this and he comes to this grown six foot four man jump i would have been man shit you got me fucked and up. that experience could have been my daughter emotional and it's hard to see because it's her last ncaa's and um, been my she daughter. really loves that race and it was just heartbreaking to see that she put all her effort into it today and when the best time that she went in a morning session before and still not make it back it, it, it's hard to see someone who works every day, every night, still not be able to compete against someone like that. Introducing Flex Power Tool. Uh, this is crazy. And um, I got a lot of people in my DM telling me to... to um, talk about this and what was my reaction to it. I wasn't able to go ahead and um, pull up the film and, and do everything I had to do. So I use um, Jason Whitlock, Fearless, which I watch a lot. And he's he's very on point. Y'all go check Jason Whitlock on Fearless out. It's a very good show. Um, but yeah, if we don't say something soon about this, man, or do something soon about this, it's going to be out of control. And... I don't know about y'all, but just seeing that left a bad taste in my mouth because you are jumping in the realm of competing with women. And like he said, what what's next? But they claim that they are, they are female, that they get to play basketball with the females, WNBA, you know? So if Hussein Bolt put on a wig and some lipsticks, he get to race against the women and beat more records. It, 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 it's starting to get out of control. It's disgusting. 
and um like i say i don't have nothing against the gay community or, or what they do that's all their business more power to them but when you're pushing it upon female sports to to interact with males and and things like that and we, we we've gone overboard and it's we need to as American citizens need to step up to the plate and say something about it. Um, like I say, like, subscribe, share this video. Um, leave your comments in the comments section of what you think. And, and let me know, man, this Leah Thomas, was this fair? Was this abomination of the sport? Y'all just let me know what y'all think. I'm your host, Murder Cam Live. And this is MCL TV, and this is Let's Talk About It. Thank you for your time.